the working group classified aspartame as possibly carcinogenic to humans, that is group 2B, based on limited evidence for cancer in humans. This was specifically for hepatocellular carcinoma, which is a type of liver cancer. The main conclusion of the panel was there's no convincing evidence for, um, from experimental or human data that has aspartame as adverse effects after ingestion uh, within uh, the limits established uh, by previous committee, um, which is the acceptable daily intake of 40 uh, milligram per kilogram body weight. So basically the committee reaffirmed the acceptable daily intake level of 0 to 40 milligrams per kilogram. Having an acceptable daily intake, it means it is acceptable to consume a certain amount of aspartame without having appreciable health effects. This amount is uh, pretty large. Uh, an acceptable daily intake of 40 milligrams per kilo for body weight, you know, if we consider an average adult of about 70 kilos, translating to 2,800 milligrams per day of aspartame. So definitely WHO is not recommending the producers to uh, withdraw or authorities to withdraw products from the market. But it would be probably considering the fact that uh, there are some um, um, concerns that have been identified by some studies, not consistently, uh, with not sufficient uh, um, clarity, uh, we're, we're certainly uh, advising the consumers to limit uh, the consumption of sweeteners.